Trump just crashed a wedding and shocks everyone there with what he showed up for. The mainstream liberal media does everything within their power to depict the president in a negative light. They almost always refuse to report on the positive achievements of President Trump. Which is why we often have to rely on the conservative media to relay the truth. The president visited his national golf club in Bedminster, New Jersey, where he ran into the middle of a wedding going on. This wedding will surely be a memorable one for the happy couple and their family. Who can say the President of the United States attended their wedding? People from the wedding posted photographs via social media outlet Instagram of the President dancing with the bride, posing for pictures, and even giving a speech at the wedding. Clearly, he was in a very good mood. An anonymous attendee told reporters they knew he was coming in when minutes previously the Secret Service came in and paved the way for him to enter. He entered around approximately 10.30 a.m. Shortly after arriving he signed some of his signature Make America Great Again hats and passed them around while some people chanted USA over and over again. The White House has been largely mum about the incident. Since the White House press corps did not have access to the hotel it was leaked via social media when guests sent them out. It quickly went viral when people began sharing the photos. The New York Times has reported the following in former brochures about the weddings at the Trump Golf Course slash club. If he is on site for your big day, he will likely stop in and congratulate the happy couple. He may take some photos with you, but we ask you and your guests to be respectful of his time and privacy. The president frequents his businesses in the Northeast often, something he has received criticism from his opponents for. He was reportedly there this past weekend for a fundraiser on behalf of Representative Tom MacArthur, who will be up for re election in a few years. MacArthur spearheaded the passage of the recent American Health Care Act which replaced the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare. Via NJ.com, Washington President Donald Trump ended his weekend jaunt to his Bedminster Golf Club Sunday after helping to raise more than $800,000 for Rep. Tom MacArthur in the Republican Party. Trump was the guest of honor at a fundraiser for MacArthur, Arthur D.I.S.T who played a leading role in enabling House Republicans to pass legislation repealing and replacing the Affordable Care Act. It was his first fundraiser for an incumbent House member. MacArthur was the only member of the New Jersey congressional delegation to attend the 2016 Republican National Convention in Cleveland, where Trump was nominated. The president, who arrived in Bedminster on Friday, scheduled no public appearances during his three-day visit. He did, however stopped by a wedding held at the golf club over the weekend. MacArthur campaign consultant Chris Russell said the fundraising event attracted about 100 guests and raised more than $800,000, according to White House pool reports. The invitation solicited donations of as much as $100,000 for MacArthur and offered a chance to take a picture with the president. Besides MacArthur's re-election campaign, donations will go to his leadership political action committee the state Republican Party and the National Republican Congressional Committee. Russell said the following about the congressman's decision to work towards passing the bill, he didn't run for Congress to decorate a chair. Obamacare is failing, premiums are rising and choices are dwindling. Tom decided sitting on the sidelines and letting it completely collapse was not an option. His efforts will ensure access to quality health care protect people with pre-existing conditions and lower costs for families and small business. The president was likely there for the fundraiser because MacArthur's work on the American Health Care Act makes him vulnerable in re-election season against progressive Democrats who were against the replacement of Obamacare. At the end of the weekend, the president was able to raise a total of $800,000 for Representative MacArthur and the Republican Party. Close to $1 million. That number ain't too shabby one bit. Not at all. Invitations had been sent soliciting donations for as much as $100,000 for the fundraiser. That is one hefty price tag. Part of the package deal was taking a picture with the president. Over the weekend he made no public appearances but he did take time out of his schedule to stop by the wedding. Donations went to not only the congressmen but to leadership political action committees, the National Republican Congressional Committee, and the State Republican Party all to support various politicians and policy agendas within the party. Rep. MacArthur was the only member from the congressional delegation in New Jersey who attended the Cleveland, Ohio 2016 Republican National Convention. This was where President Trump was formally nominated. 
indicating he was an early supporter of the president, which not many Republicans can say they were. President Trump showed up for the fundraiser because he values loyalty as he always has and always has said he has, especially in these divisive times. It is a necessity to survive in a place like Washington, D.C. He truly cares about those who work with him and his constituents. Otherwise, he would never have taken the time to stop and drop by a wedding and spend an inordinate amount of time mingling with people. Please do not forget like on videos and subscribe and comment because your voice matters and visit our page on Facebook and like them and follow up. And thanks for watching.